welcome to all in our youtube channel being engineers today we will discuss the linearity property of circuit theory how circuit parameter follows the property of linearity and how sources does not follow this particular property let us see this thing linearity these are the three fundamental relations v is equals to ri psi is equals to li q is equals to cv these are the three fundamental relations between the voltage current, flux linkage current, charge voltage and these are the parameters like resistance, inductance and capacitance. A resistance is said to be linear if its VI characteristic is linear. If I uh, take voltage on the Y axis and current on the X axis, the characteristic should be a straight line passing through the origin. Then it is said to be a linear resistor. Other than this straight line, any straight line like this, like this, these two lines are not showing that the, the, the resistor is linear. Resistor is only linear when the characteristic, VI characteristics is a straight line that too passing through the origin. Let's say this angle is nothing but theta and we have to find out the gradient of this particular straight line. So this is nothing but dV by dI gradient or slope of the straight line which is also equal to tangent of theta and it is also equal to the value of the resistance. So this is representing the linear resistor. Graphically if we want to prove that the resistor is linear then let us take the help of the Ohm's law V is equals to I into R. Every system has certain excitation and on the basis of that excitation it will give certain response. So let's say the current I1 gives the response voltage V1. Let's say the current I2 gives the response that is voltage V2. Now what we have to do, we have to make a linear combination of I1 and I2 and let us see what is the response gives by this particular resistor. So the linear combination of the current is let's say alpha I1 plus beta I2. We assume this particular uh, linear combination of the current. Alpha I1 means alpha is a constant, it is an integer value or a decimal value. It is uh, alpha times of the first current and beta times of the second current. Now, this particular current is injected to this particular resistor. So, let us see what is the voltage V is equal to. In place of current, we can put alpha I1 plus beta I2 multiplied by resistance R. So V is equal to alpha into I1 R plus beta into I2 R. And as we know this resistor follows the Ohm's law. So what is I1 R? I1 R is nothing but V1. What is I2 R? I2 R is nothing but V2. So I can write V is equal to alpha V1 plus beta V2. So what I am trying to say we are providing a linear combination of the current to this particular resistor and we are getting the same linear combination of the voltage across this particular resistor. So, when it is like this, the resistor is linear. Graphically, uh, mathematically or algebraically. And this is graphically, when the characteristic between voltage and current is a straight line and that straight line should follow the origin, the straight line passing through the origin, then only it is set to be linear. Similarly, we can use these characteristics, psi is equals to Li, Q is equals to Cv. But again, I should say, if I draw the psi I characteristic, flux linkage and current characteristic for a particular inductor, and this, is, this characteristic is nothing but a straight line passing through the origin, then only I can say it is representing the linear inductance. That is again, I can write D psi by Di, or let's say this angle is suppose theta 1, then I can write tangent of theta 1 is in nothing but the inductance. Because from this relation psi is equals to Li, you can very well see the rate of change of flux linkage with respect to the current is the tangent of theta 1 and it is representing the linear inductance. How can we algebraically prove that inductance is also linear? And why linear inductance is so important in circuit theory? That can also be proved. We know that the voltage across inductor is V is equal to L 
dI by dt according to Faraday's law. Now, we can say that current is excitation and voltage is a response. Because system theory में जब भी हम किसी system को excitation देते हैं, कुछ response हमें मिलता है. तो, suppose I1 current देने पे हमें voltage मिलता है V1. I2 current देने पे हमें voltage मिलता है V2. ठीक है? So, what we can write? V1 is equals to L di1 by dt. V2 is equals to L di2 by dt. Now, again we can make the linear combination of these two current. What is the current now? Alpha I1 plus beta I2. And let's say the voltage is V. And we have to think about what this voltage is. This voltage from Nagana Chahiye. So, I think let's say V is equals to L d by dt. What current we are providing to it? Alpha I1 plus beta I2. Alpha I1 plus beta I2. Now, V is equals to L this is alpha di1 by dt even I can write alpha into L plus what I can write beta into L di2 by dt shall I write like this L di1 by dt what is this L di1 by dt is nothing but v1 L di2 by dt what is this L di2 by dt is nothing but v2 so again I can say V is equals to alpha V1 plus beta V2. Now algebraically, how can I say that this inductor is linear? Because I1 current gives the voltage V1, I2 current gives the voltage V2. And when I make the linear combination of those two current, alpha I1 plus beta I2, this current gives me the same linear combination of the voltages alpha V1 plus beta V2. So whenever this condition satisfied, we are giving uh, one excitation and we are getting one response. Then we are get, uh, giving second excitation and we are getting second response. And now we are making a linear combination of the excitation. And on the basis of that excitation, we are getting the same linear combination of the response. Then only the element is set to be linear. As we have seen here, this is linear inductance. This is linear resistance. Same thing you can prove for the capacitor because we know that I is equals to C dV by dt. The only difference is in case of inductor, we were saying current is the excitation and the voltage is the response. I1 is the excitation, V1 is the response, I2 is the excitation, V2 is the response. And linear combination alpha I1 plus beta I2 gives the another response which is alpha V1 plus beta V2. Now in this case, Voltage is excitation and current is a response. So I can say V1 voltage gives me current I1. V2 voltage gives me current I2. How can I write this? I1 is equals to C dV1 by dt. I2 is equals to C dV2 by dt. So when I make the linear combination of these two voltages, alpha V1 plus beta V2, it also gives me the same linear combination of these two responses that is alpha I1 plus beta I2. So again we are getting the same conclusion. Certain excitation gives a certain response but when we make the linear combination of those excitation and we are getting the same linear combination of those responses then element is said to be linear. कैपेसिटर के लिए भी आप एक बात और कह सकते हैं चार्ज वोल्टेज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक यदि हम बनाएं y एक्सिस में हमने मान लीजिए चार्ज ले लिया x एक्सिस में हमने वोल्टेज ले लिया एंड अगेन आई एम गेटिंग अ स्ट्रेट लाइन दैट इज पासिंग थ्रू द ओरिजिन देन इट इज सेड टू बी अ लीनियर कैपेसिटर जहां तक सर्किट थ्योरी का सवाल है हमें इसमें लीनियर रेजिस्टर लीनियर इंडक्टर लीनियर कैपेसिटर की ही बात करनी है लेकिन सोर्सेज में लीनियरिटी फॉलो नहीं होती अब सोर्सेस में लीनियरिटी फॉलो क्यों नहीं होती इसे हम देखेंगे सोर्सेस में लीनियरिटी फॉलो नहीं होती लेट अस टेक द केस ऑफ आइडियल वोल्टेज सोर्स आइडियल वोल्टेज सोर्स और वोल्टेज सोर्स लेट्स से व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ वोल्टेज सोर्स वोल्टेज सोर्स इज अ सोर्स व्हिच गिव द कांस्टेंट वोल्टेज throughout the variation of current it means if i draw the iv characteristic sometimes i can draw vi characteristic sometimes iv characteristic do not confuse in that because 
if it is a vi characteristic slope is a resistance and if it is a iv characteristic slope is a conductance that's only the difference so if i draw the iv characteristic for this voltage source in this voltage source voltage is constant throughout like this let's say this is v0 i am talking about a two terminal voltage source which gives a constant voltage let's say v is equals to v0 and when the current is flowing through the uh, voltage sources let's say i so whatever may be the value of i see what is i here zero still the voltage is v0 let's say i is 1 ampere still the voltage is v0 let's say i is 10 ampere still the voltage is v0 so voltage remains constant throughout the variation of current whatever may be the value of the current voltage remains constant this is the characteristic of ideal voltage source so uh, let us see whether the ideal voltage source follow the property of linearity or not so i am taking if i provide i1 current i1 current is flowing through this particular voltage source what will be the voltage v0 because it is a constant voltage source if i say i2 is the current flowing through the voltage source what is the voltage of the voltage source let's say v0 because it is a ideal voltage source now let us make the linear combination of these two currents what it will be alpha i1 plus beta i2 but i know that this is a ideal voltage source whatever may be the value of the current voltage remains fixed that is v0 so alpha i1 plus beta i2 again will give me v0 which is not alpha times of this voltage means v0 and beta times of this voltage means v0 it means it is not equal to it is not equal to alpha plus beta times of v0 agar ye voltage source hamara linearity ki property ko follow karta to iska voltage yani i1 dene pe v0 hai i2 current pe v0 hai to alpha i1 plus beta i2 pe iska voltage kitna aana chahiye alpha plus beta into v0 but since ye ideal voltage source hai ye i1 pe v0 deta hai i2 pe v0 deta hai alpha i1 plus beta i2 dene pe bhi ye v0 deta hai it means it does not follow the property of linearity to kehne ka matlab ye tha आज की क्लास में हम ये देखना चाहते थे कि सोर्सेस जो हैं वो लिनियरिटी को फॉलो नहीं करते लेकिन जो सर्किट पैरामीटर हैं लाइक रेजिस्टेंस इंडक्टेंस कैपेसिटेंस दे हैव टू फॉलो द लिनियरिटी एंड इन द सर्किट थ्योरी बेसिकली वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द लिनियर सर्किट एलिमेंट्स ओनली सो वी हैव टू डील विद द लिनियर रेजिस्टर लिनियर इंडक्टर लिनियर कैपेसिटर बट नॉट द लिनियर सोर्सेस सो प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दूसरी बात मैं एक और कहना चाहूंगा कि कई बार स्टूडेंट्स को ये कंफ्यूजन होता है कि हमने रिलेशन लिख दिया है हमने रिलेशन लिख दिया है P इक्वल्स टू एल डी आई बाई डी टी या आई इक्वल्स टू सी डी वी बाई डी टी तो इस रिलेशन को देख के लोग समझते हैं कि ये नॉन लेनियर कैरेक्टर बट आई ऑलरेडी प्रूव दैट दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अनियर इंडक्टर दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अनियर कैपेसिटर सो प्लीज कीप इन माइंड कि ये एक लेनियर वोल्टेज सोर्स नहीं है जबकि इंडक्टर और कैपेसिटर लिनियर है रेजिस्टर लिनियर है और सर्किट थ्योरी में हम उसी की बात करते हैं तो ये बात ध्यान में रखी जाए सिमिलरली आप ये भी प्रूव कर सकते हैं कि जो करंट सोर्स है वो भी लिनियर नहीं होता यदि हम उसकी पी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक बनाएंगे तो वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक कैसी आई बी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक बनाएंगे तो इसका कॉन्स्टेंट करेंट हो जाएगा लेट से आई नॉट throughout the variation of voltage again this current source does not follow the linear combination characteristics it means if i say this is a current source and this gives me the current i not when the voltage is v1 when the voltage is v2 across this across this v v is equals to v1 v is equals to v2 so when the voltage is v2 uh, again the current is i not so whenever the voltage is alpha v1 plus beta v2 current will not be the linear combination of these two current current will only i not so it does not follow the linear so again i am concluding voltage source and current source does not follow the property of linearity but resistance inductance and capacitance does follow the property of linearity as far as the circuit theory is concerned thank you